Hey there, uh, I want to go through how to do um, on WP all import, we're going to do a, a product import, but for an XML file that has multiple products in it. So let's start and go ahead and grab our example here. And I am going to um, upload that and I'll show you actually what the XML looks like. Uh, let's select orders here and go to step two. Uh, while that's loading, I'll open VS Code here. I have the actual XML open. So we have, this is a order list is, is the main um, element that we're gonna need to use. And that goes all the way down. Um, and for each, each order is, is its own order list XML element. Okay, so uh, bear that in mind. So that's the first thing we're gonna do here is go down and find the order list element here and click on that. Uh, gives us 178 orders and we can see that the XML loads here on this page So I'm going to just go to the next step after this um, So the, the tricky part that I had with this I'm actually going to skip over down to the order items Since that's what the focus of this video is the actual tricky part that I was having to do was to um, to match up each order with uh, multiple products so like again let's go in and take a look in here um i think the second order uh order list item has multiple products um, each product is going to be a line item list in this export so we can see here we have one line item list it gives us the product name id stuff like that um and we have multiple of these, okay? So if there's multiple products in the order, there's you see there's multiple line item lists in this particular order. Uh, what was it called now? Order list element. So how are we going to select multiple line item lists, especially when we don't know, like for example, in this document that there's certain orders that have 50 plus um, line items. So I mean, uh, in the documentation they say like you can use fixed, uh, fix repeater mode and separate the the different things by that pipe thing but like i, I don't want to have to go and put 50 different um things in here and then like maybe there's some with more than 50 so it just kind of turns into a messy process um prone to error so actually they have this variable repeater mode and the way we do this is we have our we set a special XPath in here, so they're, they're using this, this is something called XPath, it's an XML kind of format. So what we're able to do here is, um, let me just take this away, That's I have this saved already, but I'm gonna go and like see what happens when I go and scroll down to, um, we have invoices where the, the um, products start, and then we have line item list is the first one. So if I took that and dragged it in, it would look like this invoice one, line item list one. So instead of doing line item list one, because that'll only pick the first one, this repeater mode is gonna work in a way where we can like take away that one. So now it's gonna go for every for every line item list um, item. And in this first one, there's only one, but I'm gonna to go to the second order where there's two. So it's going to repeat for every line item list. It's going to do a process and then for in this process, we want to just from here we can grab the like the way I identified the products was with with this um, skew prefix, and then I'm using uh, the product ID at the end here. Like um, maybe I could show you. I'll just show you so you can see. Um, we have products like here, like the skew. Each one has its own SKU with, the, with that prefix, and it's just using the product ID number from the export. So in that way, I'm gonna use that same format here. I'm just gonna drag that over. So here it says like invoice one slash line item list one, but since we're already doing this repeater down here, we don't need to include invoice one line item, line item list because each thing, um, each each one of these fields that's going to repeat for this, can, for this um, for each for each line item list in the XML order element, so I'm just going to go ahead and delete these. Okay, so all I'm left with is part number one. So what's going to happen here is it's going to say, okay, let's for every 
invoice it, like for every order we're going to check invoice one we're going to check each line item list item and then for each line item list item we're going to import a product and we're going to give it the part number of one and then it's going to be the same same idea with quantity here like uh, i can start by dragging this in i'm just going to only keep the stuff that isn't already being repeated so like d delete invoice and line item list quantity sold one and that's only that can be the one there because it's only there's only one value inside um, in that like kind of array format uh, and then price as well so it's um, unit price I'm just gonna delete that so once we do that um, and run the import it is going to just go ahead and um, repeat over each thing and I just I just did these settings and ran the import so I'll just show you the result is like, this is the result of the import is the, oh wait, no, that, that's the products I just pulled up. So if we go to the orders here, we can see that we have, um, all these orders are imported with all their respective prices. And we can see that each, um, if there was multiple products, they got, they got imported here with their respective, um, with their respective prices. Um, looks like these are two of the same exact price. Let me make sure that this is working correctly here. So go to another one. Yeah, so you can see even um, there's there's an example with two with uh, with different prices. So let's, we can look at this order with a higher number here. So you can see that like it it, it went through repeated for each item and and pulled out the correct. Um, respective like name for the product um, ID as well as price and quantity so that is um, how we're able to do that and that is uh, it's mapping over products that already have been imported so that is just um, the way to do it and ba yeah this basically I was trying to just explain because this this these settings are a little confusing here because this one's down here and the ones that are actually being repeated are up here so it confused me, but I was reading through these like um, WP all imports documentation here. First, I was at uh, how to import orders, and then I found um, somehow I, I got to this other more helpful one, which was um, documentation slash repeatable groups. And in here, they talk more about this variable repeater mode, which was kind of a difficult documentation to find for me. And it talks about how you can go in here and um, it gives you a little more information, but it's still a bit of guesswork um, after even after reading this to figure out that process, um, which is why I'm making this video. So, uh, and then this last, I, what is this one here? Documentation. Yeah, it talks. Custom XPath is um, another link that they have in this documentation here. So, if you want to check out those docs too, that can be helpful for you. So you want to um, get a better idea but that's basically how you do that importing uh, multiple products um, uh, is that the right one yeah Imp importing multiple products um, from an order document where you have a variable number of products for each uh, item